Today, we have a deep understanding of monkey life. When a young grad student called Wolfgang Dittus arrived here 50 years ago on assignment with the Smithsonian Institution, no one guessed macaque life was so complicated. When we think of wild monkeys living in their natural habitat, we think, oh, what a wonderful paradise kind of life they have. But they spend 90% of the day looking for something to eat. They pick up small bits of pieces, an insect here, a small leaf here, a grub here and there. It's not until you actually follow them and study them a little bit closer that you realize how difficult life for them can be. And following the macaques is exactly what Wolfgang has done ever since he arrived here in 1968, making these the best studied monkeys in the world. In our data bank, we have more than 5,000 individual monkeys identified, and we've monitored their behaviors and fates. As these thousands of life stories have played out from start to finish, a picture has emerged of a world dominated by social climbing. In this complex society, just like our own, every mother wants the best for her child. By tracking the upbringing and character of every single monkey, Wolfgang has gained an understanding of what it takes to be a successful macaque. Some mothers are very sort of protective of their young. They don't like them to go out and explore. Whereas other mothers are more laissez-faire. They allow their youngsters to run around and play with others. And what you find that eventually, the ones who've been raised in the laissez-faire kind of uh, approach, they're a lot more confident. They're more likely to achieve high rank. Clues, perhaps to our own social evolution. Over the years, Wolfgang's watched the rise and fall of thousands of individuals. He's witnessed wars between troops, observed their gentler side, documented their strict hierarchy, and he's overcome the odds to keep his study going for half a century.